What's up, everyone? Happy Monday. Check out the view here from the lake. Hempstead Lake. Sun's rising. Ducks are out. Super peaceful. So it's Monday morning, November 1st. New day, new week, new month. Only two months left of this year to uh, finish out 2021 strong. At Halloween yesterday, I had some fun with the kitties. Got to see all of our neighbors and friends. Beautiful, beautiful weather. We really lucked out with the weather. It was really cool. It was like a summer day almost. So that was perfect. Good morning, Lisa. So uh, November 1st, new, new week, new beginning, new day. Sunrise on the horizon over there. And uh, we got to come up with a message. we got to come up with a message. So listen to some Ryan Stuman this morning. And uh, he was talking about anger. And that anger does not fix problems. And I'll agree with that. Um, keep your peace. Keep your joy. And uh, don't let anger guide your decisions. Don't let anger affect um, what's going on in your life. Um, we also talked about uh, no procrastination November. Uh, so for the month of November, no more procrastination. Get stuff done. Two months left of this year. What have you been putting off this year? What have you been putting off? We all have things we're putting off. We have all things that we've been planning on doing, and we're running out of year fast. So it's time to start getting stuff going. So uh, two two messages from Ryan this morning. Um, going down to Apex to see Ryan. Uh, I'll be heading out of here Wednesday down to Texas. Uh, we got Apex Live coming up on Friday. Uh, a bunch of great speakers. Uh, I got some networking planned. Um, some learning planned and, uh, just being around great people, uh, really stimulates your, your mind and your soul. So, uh, can't get enough of that. So heading out to Texas, uh, on Wednesday, this will be the last Texas trip of the year. And then, uh, we jump right into, uh, Thanksgiving and the holidays and all that stuff. So, um, yesterday I spoke about fighting your demons. Um, and a lot of the demons being, um, in relationships and I love when my messages uh, create stimulating conversations so uh spoke to some people yesterday I spoke about if you're in a relationship and you're not showing up um maybe you're angry and um stuff ain't working out right and I said you know it's time for you to show up it's time for you to look out for your spouse it's time for you to um start doing whatever it is you need to be doing and be there for that other person in your life. Um, but I got called out by a couple people that um, actually broke the relationship. And they said that uh, life is better now than it's ever been because they are free. They are free from the shackles of people that don't want to see them succeed. They are free from the shackles of angry people. They are free from the shackles of people that push their buttons. Um, they are free from the shackles of people that made them angry and held them back. And it's basically the other side of the equation uh, that I spoke about yesterday. And uh, one of my friends says, I need to get deeper in these. So I need to get deeper. So, uh, so yesterday I spoke about if you're in a relationship and you're not showing up, and it's time to show up before you lose that relationship. But um, a couple of people I talked to yesterday said at a certain point, um, it's time to move on. It's time to move on and get away from those toxic people, those people that are making you angry, those people that are pushing your buttons, those people that do not want to see you happy, those people that just keep wanting to take you down. And um, it's another perspective to look at. And I guess there's a certain point in every relationship where you got to evaluate it and you decide, is this something I'm going to put more effort into or is this something I'm going to put less effort into and move on? Um, stop uh, putting a lot of energy into something that's uh, a brick wall and you can't get through. So, um, just a little conversation that was stimulated by uh, my message yesterday. And I just wonder where you guys are with it. Um, at what point in your relationships do you say enough's enough? At what point do you say, I'm tired of 
being angry, I'm tired of my buttons being pushed, or at what point do you say you suck it up and you keep going? And uh, I don't know if there really is an answer to that um, question to put out there. Maybe you guys want to comment on that. Um, but um, yeah, just some stimulation, stimulating conversations that came out of my message. And I always love that. If any of my messages spark something in you, please reach out. I love to talk about things. I love to see different angles on things. Um, and we can continue to uh, keep sharing a message out in the world and helping each other. So um, relationships happen to be the topic. And uh Anger was Ryan's topic this morning. We don't get anywhere with anger. So if we're living in a state of anger because of our relationships, we need to stop. Anger doesn't get us anywhere. Um, if something's making us angry, we need to get away from it. And we need to not be angry. We need to deal with it in a civilized manner. And uh, November, stop procrastinating. No procrastinate November. Is that no shave November and all this other stuff out there. Uh, how about something real? Who cares if you shave or not? How about showing up and... Doing what you need to do and stopping procrastinating and getting things done. We got two months left of this year to finish it out strong and uh, start avoiding those things that make us angry and start getting things done. So anyway, message, a couple different points there, but I uh, hope you're getting something out of my messages. If any of these things are sparking an interest with you, feel free to reach out. I appreciate it. Uh, I got my Facebook group. We ride at Dawn 365. We can always uh, jump in there and have stimulating conversations. Um, all right, so... Uh, what else we got going tonight? We got to get some fire live, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time with Sam Smith. Uh, come check that out tonight. Streamed live here on Facebook. And uh, what else do we got going on? Showing some properties. Everything I got now is going to contract. Um, need some more listings. It was a busy weekend. I got to show some houses yesterday morning. And uh, some more this week. And um, that's it. So anyway, let's jump on prayers. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to uh, stop procrastinating and make decisions in our lives. Uh, help us to uh, figure out when uh, when it's time to pull the plug and help us to stop being angry and help us to uh, surround ourselves with good people that, that support us and don't, uh, and don't report us. Um, help us to uh, finish out the year strong. Help us to uh, hit our goals. Help us to uh, live a happy, positive life and affect those around us. Amen. All right. So, FYE, forget your excuses. New day, new week, new month, new sunrise. Let's go get some stuff done this week and uh, let's go find happiness. Oh, Chris wants to get in my video? Yeah? All right. Let's check it out. Let's see. Is it going to happen? Uh, 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 maybe. Maybe. No. Didn't work. I don't know. Good morning, Chris. If you want to get on, we can try it again. Chris is one of my clients and friends. And uh, we just got his house sold. We got a house that we're about to buy for him. So, all right. Uh, technology doesn't always work out here in the, by the lake, but there you go. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. We should be getting close to closing day soon. We'll follow up this week and see where we're at. Um, all right, everyone. So, you got your message. We're going to head back on a ride. Sun's coming up. Uh, daylight savings time's coming. So, pull back. So uh, we'll have a little more sunlight in the morning. I so won't be here in the dark trying to do my message. But all right, so uh, new day, new week, new month. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get some stuff done this week. All right, everyone, I appreciate you all. Put your head in the pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go inspire someone in your life while you inspire yourself to be better. Let's go do this.